Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, my name is Brianna, and I make health, beauty, and lifestyle videos to inspire and motivate women like myself. Today, I'm going to be telling y'all some of my favorite manifestation techniques. I don't want to waste any time, so let's get started. So number one is meditating with crystals. So meditation itself is a very powerful technique you can use to manifest because it raises your vibrations, it quiets your mind, it gets you more in tune with your power and with your higher self so that you can focus on attracting or creating what you want. Now the addition of crystals, because crystals have the power to um, raise vibrations, they have a certain vibration themselves and they can help you to create things just by you carrying carrying them on you. So pairing the two is very powerful. So how you do it, or how I do it, is that you take a crystal, and I have my rose quartz here. You take a crystal, you hold it in your hand with your palms up, and I like to grasp it because when you grasp it, you really feel like I, I don't know if this happens with anybody else, but I feel pulsating in my hands, especially when I'm holding a crystal. Now, I also feel just pulsating in my hands regularly, but it's more apparent when I have a crystal in my hand. So I will put on some meditation music or very rarely now. I will just listen for a noise in the background, but it's easier for me to meditate with either meditation music or with a guided meditation specifically for what I'm trying to get my mind right for. And then I'll just meditate. It's that simple. And you will see that you feel better afterwards and that puts you in a better state of mind in order to manifest. So number two on the list is scripting. And I made a whole video about this. Y'all can go watch it. But to sum it up, you basically take paper or you take a journal and you write down your affirmations as if they already happen. Um, write down your desires as if they have already happened or as if they are happening at the present moment. And there are different little side methods like the 555 method or the... 333 or whatever um, method that you know you want to use or you can just write the sentences themselves over and over or you can just write it like you're telling a story a lot of people like doing that because you get really deep into it and you get descriptive and you get specific about things so you can really paint the picture of what you want your life to look like and it will reflect that way because you wrote it down and you visualized. Because at the same time while you're writing, you're also thinking it in your head. So that's, it's a form of visualization, but you're putting it on paper. Now, if you would like to purchase my manifestation journals, you can do so. They are on Amazon. The link is in the description box always. So I use this to do my scripting, like literally, I use it to do my scripting. So. I'm not just selling something that I am not using. Scripting is one of my most powerful methods to manifest. And even when you're done scripting, you can read your sentences back or read whatever you wrote back in order to have that extra like way of locking it in and you can get that extra visualization going. The next method that is one of my favorites of manifesting is affirming or affirmations and if you have heard of or if you watch Sammy Ingram then this is the number one thing that she talks about on her channel literally speaking or thinking the desires that you want the way that you want your life to be the conditions that you want in your life literally reciting them or thinking them is what affirmations is because that's why they say be careful what you say or be careful what you wish for be careful how you speak because your your thoughts and your words literally become your life and so that's why a lot of people most people are you know going through ups and downs because they have some things that they think about that are positive and they have some things that they think about and expect 
that are negative. So you got that balance of up and down going in your life all the time when you can just focus on the positive and create that more than you would anything negative. Another thing that Sammy teaches is how to rampage, which is basically like, it's like an overly confident affirmation style. So you're like kind of over exaggerating, but it's like, it's kind of like overshooting so that you get exactly what you want. And either way, you'll be happy if you get that exaggeration, then that's better. Or if you get whatever you originally wanted, then that's fine too. But she teaches about rampaging and you can learn all about that on her channel. I wouldn't say that I rampage. I just say that now I just speak my affirmations confidently and that's what happens. Um, something that's very powerful that you can do because if you're getting into how the brain works and the subconscious mind and the science of it, it's better to affirm when you're falling asleep and right when you wake up. So as you're going to sleep, as you close your eyes, as you feel yourself drifting off, but you're not quite sleep yet, that is the best time to affirm. And that state is called SATS. And I talked about my favorite manifestation coaches and Ava and Sammy talks about SATS, which is state akin to sleep. So that's when your brain is most, your subconscious is most open. So anything that you're thinking about right before you go to sleep, that's why you might have a dream about it because it's in your subconscious. So it's, it makes sense to affirm and think about and daydream about what you want as you're falling asleep so that it comes to you faster and more easily. And speaking of the subconscious mind, there is also a way to tap into your subconscious mind while you are wide awake. And that is subliminals. There's been a lot of controversy about subliminals. They have blogs about it, articles about it, um, basically like debunking the power of subliminals. But that's only because people kind of like make a mockery out of it and they kind of go too far. But the idea of a subliminal, okay, so what a subliminal is, and it's something that they've been doing on TV for a long time. They will like flash a quick image on the screen. Like if it's a fast food restaurant, they'll do little flashes of burgers on the screen. So like you, you don't realize it when you're just watching, but your subconscious realizes it because that's what it's, it's going to. Also in songs, there might be little messages that are in the music. Like you need, it's so deep, it's scary, but at the same time you can use it to your benefit. So with the subliminals on YouTube, they will have regular music playing and then under the music, you might hear like a little whispering, little whispering, little whispers. <laughs> and that is what a subliminal is. And I actually create my own subliminals because I don't know what they're whispering in these subliminals. So I don't, they could be whispering anything and I just don't trust that. I literally wrote down my affirmations and then I opened my voice memos app and I whispered the affirmations into my voice memo. And then I took that over to the computer and basically created like a video, but it's just like the audio. And I put some manifestation music over it so you cannot hear my voice. You can't, or you can't hear what I'm saying. And that's how you tap into your subconscious mind. So even though you can't hear it directly, your subconscious mind can hear it. That's what you are creating. That's what you're attracting in your life. One of the ways that you can tell your subliminal is working is if you have a dream about what you're talking about in the subliminal. If you have a dream about it, then you know it's in your subconscious mind because I have dreams about things that I think randomly throughout the day or things that, you know, I'm scared of or I'm expecting in my life. And it's like, kind of metaphorical but it, it's in my subconscious so it comes in my dreams so if I see 
something that I'm manifesting in my dream, I know that it's real and I know that it's coming and I know that it's working. So that's a very powerful way to manifest whatever you want. So you can do the same thing if you don't have an editing app on your computer or if you don't have a computer, you can actually use your phone to edit things. You can probably use like a little movie maker app and then just put like a black screen over it and then put the audio on there and this, just have it in your files and your photos and play it back throughout the day. That's what I do. I, but you have to listen to it through headphones for it to be most effective. Put your headphones in, like if I'm going to the grocery store or if I'm like washing the dishes or anything, I'll just put in my AirPods and play the subliminal just so it's in there as many times as I think about it. And at the same time, you have to, so that's, that's the end of subliminals. But just to wrap everything up, you have to combine these things sometimes. Everybody's gonna have a different like concoction, if you will. Everybody's gonna have different methods that work better for them. And like I said, you can combine different methods, but I feel like for me, the most effective is probably the affirmations and probably the scripting, but the subliminals obviously work as well because that is affirmation. So it's kind of the same thing. So throughout the day, I am affirming, thinking my thoughts, visualizing and repeating them. And I'm also listening to my subliminals. I also carry my crystals with me in my purse, whichever ones that I am resonating with that week. And I also script whenever my spirit tells me to. Those are the ways, the methods that I'm using right now to manifest. And if I explore more, then I will share those with you. But let me know what you guys use. If you guys use any methods for manifestate manifestation, why am I messing up my words? Let me know what methods you guys might use for manifestation or what you're thinking about using. And that is all for this video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and also subscribe for more content like this. And I will see y'all in the next video.